Roth, and I am your Queen Bee for all things Conference and National Council. We are so excited to have you join us in April, and I've been getting a lot of questions from you all about what to expect at the conference, so I figured the best way to respond would be through this video. Our first question comes from Brian in Kansas. Dear Lara, I'm a program manager at a community addiction treatment center. I've never been to a national conference and I'm not sure how to choose which sessions I should go to. Any advice? Brian, that's a great question. You're in luck. We actually have a session track that is solely focused on addiction and co-occurring disorders. This is what I would recommend you do. Go to our conference website. On the main page, you'll be able to access the preliminary program. And if you scroll down to page 11, you'll be able to see a list of all the different session titles that are gonna be offered under that track. And actually, I would recommend that to anybody who's trying to figure out which sessions they wanna to go to. Scroll down to page 11, and then that will start the list of all the different tracks that are gonna be available. Also, when you get on site, I would highly recommend that you download the conference app. In the conference app, you can pick which track session you want to look at, and then see all the different workshops that are gonna be offered under that track. The next question is from Karen in North Carolina. Karen asks, I know I've registered for the conference, but I can't figure out how to register for individual sessions. Do I need to do that through a separate link? Karen, great question. We're getting that one a lot. The answer is no. You do not need to sign up for individual sessions. What you'll do is when you get on site and you figure out which session you want to go to and which room it's going to be in, I would suggest just getting there maybe five minutes early. Some of the sessions, especially the popular ones, are going to fill up quickly. The only conference-related items that you need to pre-register for are the pre-conference universities, which are happening on Sunday before the conference, or the Awards of Excellence Dinner, which is going to take place on Tuesday. And a word of advice, if you are planning on attending the Awards of Excellence Dinner and you haven't already gotten your ticket, I would highly recommend doing that now because seats are selling out fast. The next question is from Melanie in Maine. Dear Lara, what is the dress code for the conference? Melanie, I would recommend to do business casual attire at the conference. You're gonna see people wearing jeans and some people wearing suits and everything in between. So keep in mind that you are gonna be doing a lot of walking, so you wanna be comfortable, think comfortable shoes, but also you're gonna be interacting with colleagues in your field, board members, and who knows, you might even run into Patrick Kennedy in the hallway. So I would recommend to dress professionally and comfortably. And the last question I'm going to take is from Brian in Colorado. Brian asks, what exactly is the Hive? As a first time attendee, do I need to check in at the Hive every morning? The Hive is one of our newest features at the National Council Conference. This is a lounge area where all first time attendees can come and hang out, network with each other, meet National Council staff, and even participate in some fun activities. Now, by no means is this a requirement for first-time attendees to come by the Hive, but you should know that it's a resource for you throughout the conference. So I'll be hanging out there all three days of the conference so that if you ever have any questions, you can just stop by the Hive and chat with me. I should mention some fun activities that are gonna be happening there though. So on, one, on Monday afternoon, we have two staff from Mental Health First Aid along with our Mental Health First Aid mascot, Algae. They're gonna come by and they're gonna do one of the Mental Health First Aid activities with you and answer any questions that you might have. Then on Tuesday morning, we have some National Council board members that are gonna stop by. We'll do a meet and greet with them. And on Tuesday afternoon, we have staff from the National Behavioral Health Network for Tobacco and Cancer Control. They're gonna come by and do a fun game. On Wednesday morning during the break, we have my colleague, Susie Morrison, who is a health and fitness guru, come and talk to you all about her latest tips in workplace healthfulness. In fact, it's called desk sizes, if I remember correctly. And then on Wednesday, right before the end of the conference, we're actually gonna have a raffle at the Hive. So the winner of the raffle gets free registration for next year's conference. So all you need to do to enter is to bring your business card with you, stop by the Hive, drop it in the raffle box, and then you're entered with a chance to win. So I'll be sending out all this information in an email over the next week or so, but just wanted to share a little snapshot of what you can expect at the Hive. Well, that's all the time I have for now to answer your questions, but please remember, if anything comes up, any questions, comments, concerns, just shoot me an email or give me a call. I believe you have my contact information, but you can find it on the first time attendee webpage on the conference website. 
but we're really excited to have you in April. I can't wait to see you in a couple of weeks and welcome to the National Council Conference.